Senator Wish Wilson. Thank you, President. My question is to the Minister for Finance, representing the Treasurer, Senator Cormann. Minister, projections in last year's MyEFO show the budget returning to surplus in 2020 and 2021 and remaining in surplus for the out years. However, parliamentary library modelling done for my office, based on MyEFO projections, show that the budget will now fall back into deficit by 2024 as a result of the extra $30 billion announced in the Defence White Paper. Minister, do you confirm these numbers, and where has the government's credible path to surplus gone? The Minister for Finance, Senator Corn. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. President. Firstly, uh, the government stands by the forecast published in the Mitte Economic and Fiscal Outlook and in the ordinary course of events. Of course, as always happens, uh, there will be a further update uh, in the budget. The second point I would make is that uh, I would have to review the assumptions we used. Uh, the government certainly uh, in um, the 2014-15 uh, budget uh, reflected the uh, the uh, commitment that we uh, took to the last election of a return of uh, defence uh, funding of 2% as a share of GDP by 23-24 into our medium to long term forecast. Uh, so that might be an assumption that the parliamentary library might not have been aware of. Uh, so the point is that the cost of the defence white paper has been reflected in the medium to long term fiscal outlook of the budget for some time. Uh, as such, uh, it was also reflected in the mid year economic and fiscal outlook delivered uh, just before Christmas in 2015. Thank you, Minister. Senator, which will Senator the extra $30 billion was, was totally unexpected by just about everyone. Uh, every extra dollar spent on the military industrial complex is a dollar that needs to be funded. The Treasurer has previously stated that his budget rules are that any new spending must be fully offset with savings. What programs is this government going to cut to make up for the $30 billion in defence? Will it be more cuts to health or education? Or will it be more cuts to crucial environment and climate programs? Minister. Uh, th th thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. I don't believe that uh, Senator Rich Wilson actually listened to the uh, answer to the primary question. Uh, the Defence uh, White Paper is fully funded, fully costed, uh, and the uh, medium to long term fiscal uh, impact of the uh, funding allocated through the Defence White Paper uh, was already reflected in our medium to long term uh, forecast uh, in the mid year economic and fiscal outlook before Christmas. Thank you, Minister. Senator Wish Wilson, final supplementary question. I reiterate that the $30 billion was totally unexpected. Minister, every extra dollar you spend on weapons companies and military hardware is a dollar that could be spent somewhere else. The government has talked up the industry benefits. Just two weeks ago, Infrastructure Australia detailed the massive shortfall in public funding of infrastructure and then outlined the productivity benefits to our nation. Has the government modelled what the economic and productivity benefits would be from funding the infrastructure gap rather than warships and weapons? Minister. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr President. It's obviously very difficult for me to comment on uh, what Senator Rich Wilson did or did not expect about the level of investment in uh, defence and national security. What I can say, though, uh, is that this government went to the last election very transparently declaring what our uh, commitment was, and our commitment was to bring uh, defence uh, funding from the disastrously low levels uh, that they went to under the Labor government to bring that back up to 2 per cent as a share of GDP within a certain time frame. And we Reflected order, that. We're order. implementing that. Order, Minister. That. Point of order, Senator Wishwood. Point of order on relevance. I asked whether the government had considered whether that money would be better spent elsewhere, and he hasn't answered the question. Thank you, Senator Wish Wilson. I'll remind the Minister of the question. Minister. Th thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. The government did a lot of work uh, considering all of the uh, necessary priorities to ensure that Australia was safe and secure and that we could have a, a strong and prosperous economy. And of course, a safe, our, our regional security, our national security is an important part of uh, uh, underwriting our economic strength and prosperity into the future. Now, uh, these are all matters that were uh, well ventilated and debated in the lead up to the last election. We are implementing the commitment that we took to the last. Election. Thank you, Minister.